When you think about the fight for civil rights in the 60s and 70s, you might think about the South, maybe Martin Luther King. Well, Colorado had its own civil rights movement, and the images of our state's historic events are now on display. Denver, 1969. Racial tensions had reached a boiling point. Students walk out of West High School. This is actual news footage. For days, hundreds more joined in the march demanding better schools and teachers and protesting racism. Denver police responded in riot gear using tear gas and batons. This piece of Denver history, just one part of the Movimiento exhibit. Yeah, they, they, were, they were hitting us down the stairs. Nita Gonzalez was among those marching. Today, this school administrator walks through the exhibit with me, looking at pictures of that tumultuous time. In a sense, it's her family history on these museum walls. After all, it was her father, Corky Gonzalez, who led the cry for civil rights with the crusade for justice. He knew personally Martin Luther King. Yes, he did. Cesar Chavez. Absolutely. Angela Davis, Russell Means. I'm still humbled by it. These people that we ate with at the crusade for justice or we uh, or joined us on marches and rallies, amazing human beings that walked with us with incredible commitment and compassion. This was the banner the Crusade for Justice would carry in every march and rally. And it says it is better to die on your feet than to keep on living on your knees. The 60s and 70s, a time of boycotts, to fight for better working conditions for farm workers, to take on companies considered discriminatory, and the Vietnam War, a time of deep distrust for government. And that was a time of FBI surveillance. That was a time of trying to break organizations and advocates. That was a time of activists being killed because they dared to stand up. There's even a wall dedicated to those who died standing up for civil rights. And handwritten notes left by museum visitors touched by those who fought for what they believed in. They took a stand. Thank God they took a stand. Because of them, I can be here. We can have this. The father of Colorado civil rights movement didn't live to see this, but Nita knows he would be proud. He did what he did to transform society, to make it more just and more equal and more humane. That's why he did what he did. But he would be honored and he would be humbled. And you can see the exhibit right now at the Colorado History Museum. In fact, it's stay has been extended because it has been so popular. Interactive, too. I love that wall where you can weigh in it's on great. it. Oh, yeah, it's great. What a great idea. Yeah.